Hi, and welcome back at cloudbackuping.com and another video on Box. And this time we are going to have a look at the synchronization feature that is a great uh, part of the Box uh, business suite here. So you can download the Box Sync software on uh, box.com via your account. And I'm now currently using a Macintosh, but obviously this works for Windows um, as well. So there is no problem if you are a Windows user, you can follow along just fine here. And also you can download that for your mobile device. Probably you've already seen my video where I reviewed the mobile software for the iPhone. So after the software has been downloaded, we can start the installer and see box synchronization features in action. The installation is, of course, pretty forward. So you just uh, double click on the downloaded software and an installation wizard pops up that you just have to go through quickly clicking on continue. And obviously Box will need your admin password to perform the changes necessary to your operating system here. So we'll just quickly finish that installation. And then Box uh, automatically goes into your system preferences menu. So if we click on show all, we can see that at the bottom, um, Below others, there is the box software. And here you can configure uh, the box uh, functionality. So you first have to log in with your email address and your password that you've been creating uh, with your business account. And then you just have to log in and can start synchronizing files and folders with your box account. Box will create a folder on your operating system, just like Dropbox. So Box is calling the folder Box Documents and into Box Documents, you can put all the folders that you want to sync. Unfortunately, I cannot right click on a folder and select that to be a synced folder. This is a feature I would definitely would love to see in uh, other versions of Box, but um, it uses the same functionality in the same structure as Dropbox because Dropbox also gives you the one and only folder where you have to sync uh, your files in. So let's start by putting some of our test files into the box documents folder. Um, those test files are a mixture of audio files, video files, PSD. This is a test folder that I prepare for all the online backup and uh, storage services to test the speed and the reliability. So here I will just um, drag and drop some of my test files that I have uh, prepared here. So just uh, click one file and scroll down and put those files directly into the box documents folders. And the analogy works the same. So the computer transfers the files into the box documents folders and then you see those little circulating arrows um, at the side of the files indicating that Box is working uh, on synchronizing your files with uh, their servers that you can have access to those files wherever you go. As you can see here, our files have been moved automatically to a, a default sync folder. Obviously, you can rename the folders and organize all your files from within that folder. However, what uh, I disliked kind of was that I couldn't actually have a look at the status of those syncs. So I, uh, I see obviously that it is currently syncing my files, but I do not know where I'm at and at how many um, kilobytes or, or even megabytes per second it transfers the files. A Dropbox offers here a little overview of uh, the files and what kind of file is currently being transferred and at what speed. And I really like to have this overview and security that everything works fine. If your files are uh, uploaded correctly, you get the little uh, blue check mark at the side of the file. So the circulating errors are converting to check marks and that indicates that your file is now distributed and synced um, and ready to be synced to other devices that you use or your employees use. So let's just switch back into um, the web client and see whether those files have already arrived. So with a click on the top navigation on files, you can see here is our default sync folder. And when we click on the sync folder, um, then there should already be those files that have been uploaded 
correctly. So there they are. Everything has been uploaded fine. And then obviously you can organize your files from within here. You can add, as we've seen in other videos, tasks to those files and deadlines and assign collaborators to those files. And those files get synced to other devices. So this works pretty easily and you can manage all your files and tasks from within the web client. Also, when you want to make folders, synced folders, after having uploaded them to your Box account, you can go into the options and say, hey, I want to sync that folder up onto my desktop and to all the other people's desktops uh, that I've given, that I've granted access to. And then it converts the folder to a sync folder automatically. And uh, we can see that with those little arrows here on the side that those are synced folders folders. And when we now have a look back at our um, desktop here and at our uh, box documents folder, we see it is not yet updated. So the question is why this has not happened yet. Probably we have to uh, sync or click on manual sync here. So let's just do that. Start sync now. And let's see if the folder appears. Yes, there it is. So it, ha it has already scanned the folders that are uh, being that are have to be that have to be synced due to our configuration in the web client, and when we click on the arrow, we see okay, there is already files popping down onto our Mac, and this works actually quite well. So there is no need to determine whether you want folders to be synced folders or not. You can do that quite comfortably after having uploaded all your important business files and business folders onto Box's service and then later determine those to be synced folders. Another great feature of Box is the mobile access. You can see there is there are so many different platforms that are supported that basically everybody uh, can use Box with an app on his or her mobile. So in the next video, we are going to have a test on my iPhone and download the Box app and see whether that works flawlessly and how we can manage our files and folders from within the app that you can download from the iTunes store or the Android store for that matter. Okay, I really hope I could help you getting an overview of the synchronization feature Box offers and I hope it could help you judge a little bit if Box might be a service for your business as well, if I could help you. Please do leave a comment or if you have a question, email me or get back to me on my social media channels on Facebook or on Twitter. I'd be more than glad to get back to you and answer your question. My name is Mauricio Prinslau and we are going to see us in the next video. Bye-bye.